good morning friends today we will deal with topic uh, that is thin layer chromatography thin layer chromatography is one of the type of chromatographic method chromatographic methods mostly used for the separation and identification of multiple components in a complex mixture If you just look out what the chromatography is, chromatography uh, that is a Greek word, chromato means the color and graphy means the writing, color writing to be there. It is a general chromatography, it is a general versatile tool for the separation of components in a mixture. It is used for identification of unknowns by comparison with reference samples. There is no restriction for the samples, for the sample to be organic, inorganic, biological, high sensitivity of the detection. So, in general, the chromatography methodology divided uh, into the planar chromatography and the column chromatography. What the nature of stationary phase to be there? Stationary phase to be considered as a stable one, whereas the mobile phase moves through the stationary phase and we are achieving the separation in chromatography depending upon the relative affinity of the particular substance for stationary phase and mobile phase in general thin layer chromatography is a planar chromatography whereas liquid chromatography and gas chromatography these are the examples of column chromatography you perform any chromatographic method okay, you will require three essential components what first one is a stationary phase which to be stable another is a mobile phase which passes through the stationary phase and third one is the sample mixture sample mixture to be dissolved into the suitable solvent now specifically we are dealing with the chromatography so what the stationary phase to be used in case of thin layer chromatography there is mostly a thin layer of adsorbent okay over the inert support mostly the glass or plastics to be used uh, the most choice of adsorbent that is silica gel okay if you just look out what the silica gel consists of and it is consist of silicon dioxides it is a thin layer chromatographic plate that is a back support on which you prepare a thin layer of adsorbent okay have a thin layer okay of adsorbent over the back support what the structure of silica gel so hydrogen functional groups over the surface and which relatively max the nature of stationary phase polar one okay that polar the stationary phase in case of tlc and what the mobile phase then the mobile phase should be the opposite one so the combination of non-polar solvent or non-polar solvent to be used as a mobile phase in case of thin layer chromatograph so if you just look out what the different steps or stages in thin layer chromatography then first one is the sample application so we are using a capillary okay to give the spot and second one is a development third is a after the development of TLC plate visualization to be there and afterwards the interpretation the calculation of RF values to be there okay. so first one when the uh, we just get the TLC plate we are drawing the okay starting line okay 1 cm from the bottom we are drawing the finishing line 1 cm from uh, okay above the plate afterwards the sample spots to be given okay with the help of capillary second one prepare the mobile phase put it into the suitable solvent okay afterwards you keep, uh, allow the chamber to saturate and afterwards you keep the plate okay as you dip the plate what will happen the solvent will move up okay in upward direction due to the capillary action when the plate comes towards the finishing line you remove the plate and afterwards uh, allow it to dry there are number of methods which are used okay for the 
visualization of TLC plate. If the sample is colored spots, uh, it's well and good. If it is not, okay, uh, when you are using silica gel GF254, you will like to be used. Otherwise, the visualization methods uh, like uh, mostly preferred one is iodine chamber if the compounds are organic otherwise different spraying reagents depending upon the deep functional groups present in the compound to be preferred what the last uh, part okay of the thin layer chromatography that is the interpretation of TLC results so RF values to be calculated what the distance okay travel by the substance divided by the distance traveled by the solvent from by that we you are calculating the rf value rf value for the particular compound and the rf value into the particular mixture so by comparing the rf value okay we come to the conclusion what the particular components of the mixture so that's about a general introduction about thin layer chromatography. Thanks.